The third Treasure Valley postpartum summit is just four days away, and it's a chance to bring together those who are interested in exploring pregnancy and postpartum issues. Here to, us, to tell us about it is chef, nutritionist, and professional coach uh, Mackenzie Joiner. Thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us today. Uh, so, what can you tell us about this event? Um, so this event is for anyone that is interested in learning more about um, pregnancy, postpartum. Um, you don't have to be someone that's um, pregnant. You can be a partner, a family member, a friend that just wants to learn more and how to support um, someone in that transition time, just supporting them better. Sure. And will there be presentations from people or talk about how uh, the event will play out? Yeah, so um, this year I have 12 different speakers, mm -hmm. so the event, the doors will open at 9.30 for people to start checking in. Um, we'll welcome them in, and then each hour there's three different speakers that people can choose from. Whichever topic um, really calls to them, they get to choose and see um, which one they want to go to, and then it ends at 4.30. And uh, what are some maybe presentations or things that people can expect to learn if they come? Um, so I'm super excited because this year our speakers um, range from how to start thinking about and preparing for pregnancy, sure. how to maintain a healthy pregnancy, and then um, set up for the most supportive um, postpartum period. So I'm really excited about that. And then we also have um, vendors there. So mm -hmm. I allow anyone in the community that has a business to showcase it with a vendor table. Sure. So when you come, you're not only going to talks, but also meeting who's in the Treasure Valley. And like you said, um, it can be for people who are possibly thinking about getting pregnant or also how to support someone if it's your spouse or something yeah. like that as well. Yes, yeah, so we welcome anyone. So bring your partner, bring a family member, a friend, and it's just a, a way to, to learn how to support people in our community. Sure, and maybe um, too you could go over uh, some tips for uh, women going through that as well. Yeah, I'd love to. So I actually opened this up to some family members and some friends in the area. Mm -hmm. And some that just um, kept coming up were um, ask for help and really allow for that help. Um, a lot of times uh, we need things, but we don't want to be a burden, so we sure. don't ask for it. Um, to set aside time for yourself every day, that could be as easy as having a cup of tea or taking a bath, just making sure that you're connecting with yourself. And then also it was brought up to reconnect with your partner. You introduce this new life into your, your home, into your relationship, and it's really important to stay connected to your partner or anyone that is helping you with that new baby. And do you think during that time, because it can be kind of chaotic with a new baby, people might forget to take time for themselves? Yes, I think that that's, um, one of the biggest issues. I think that um, a lot of people that have a new baby, everything is, they're trying to figure out this new, this new life in their, in their world. And um, they sometimes can forget that they too need to have that self care and making sure that their cup is full and, and, and sleeping. Sleeping is yes. a huge one that Sleep came up. It's always important. Yes, making sure, asking for someone just to come over, even if it's a 20 minute power nap, to take that time to, sleep and rejuvenate yourself. Well, sure. And of course, you can learn more at the event, which is just four days away. Yes. And the details are on your screen, $40 per person. Thank you so much for joining us yes. today. We'll be right back after this.